Okay, true or false? True or false? I saw a Hunter College van roll in here today. We did. We we rolled with the big 15 passenger. We like everybody to know, you know, we're here. Uh, it is it is a joy to drive uh, through New York City, uh, but you know that's just how we roll. You know, big dog style. New York City. Just let me tell you something. Hey, hey, hey. hey. How much was my Uber ride last night? Let's just go question A. Go ahead. Uh, LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Fairlawn, New Jersey. Go. Ooh, 100 bucks. Ah, uh, you're short. You're short. You're short. You're $148. Yeah, not shocked there. Got a <laughs> lift, man. Lift's where it's at. Is lift? Is it lift's, lift's a little bit cheaper, and if you're a Delta guy, they it, give you those points. Really? All points. Well, David Prado, that's all you, right? Okay, so when someone comes here, like that shock, like if a family comes here and you're recruiting them, what is that like when they're like, see the tolls and they, they, they start seeing the cost of, of New York City? You know what, that's there. Uh, in other cities, it's built in in other ways that you just don't really see as much. Uh, but with us, it's just, it's the, the lay of the land. You kind of adapt to it, just like with anything else. Uh, this city, uh, even though we're in New Jersey right now, just offers so much. And you know, with so many people, they, you know, they try to capitalize, but you, know, you gotta just deal with it and accept it. Wrestling people are for the most part are blue collar when you're you know when you're recruiting yep. them. Some blue collar people you know. It, it, first off, it's the center of civilization it's the in, in the world on Earth, yeah, right? Not, I mean, the there's cradle. no question, right? But so why doesn't my cell phone have service when we're here at Bergen Catholic? Uh, we're in Jersey, so you got to talk to the so Jersey you're just, people. You're just threw Jersey under the bus. Nah, a little bit. Yeah, I love Jersey, but it's on them yeah so anyhow like we, you know when you come here and you, you know you got all these kids you're at the florida one so this is your second c3 yep. you know what to expect what's what's hunter college looking for what are you guys looking for in a guy a recruit upstairs we're looking for smart kids i mean we're a high academic school you know we're big into the medical um you know on our team we have doctors and and you know pre-nurses and you know so we want guys who, who want to be really really academically focused you know that's what we want you know if you can scrap that's great but we want smart guys, and I'll teach you how to scrap and fist fight all day. Uh, you know, Stutzman, you know, Nutsman Stutzman taught me a lot. Uh, same with Kerry McCoy. Uh, so, you know, I think I have a pretty good understanding of how to teach guys how to wrestle. You know, and uh, New York City, you know, how far are you guys from, like, uh, Times Square? Uh, from... Because you're our, in Manhattan. Yeah, we're right. We're 68th and Lex, which is three blocks uh, east of Central Park. So we're not far from Central, that close to oh, Central Park. Uh, our guys right now are doing runs through Central Park. You know, they love it because they get to run through Central Park and it's beautiful and it's it's phenomenal for them. It's, you, you don't get anything like it anywhere else, right? You run through Central Park, you run down to Times Square. Uh, you can go hang out in Times Square after you're done with a workout. Uh, you, if you're big into museums, Museum Mile is right near... You, listen. Do you really need to sell New York City to anyone? A little bit, right? Seriously, a come on, bit. man. You know what? You need to have a certain type of personality to enjoy the hustle, right? Like, you got to just thrive off speed and energy and people and just just ready to go. Like, you have to be you have to be cocked and loaded and just I'm ready. Let's let's pull the trigger. Let's see what this has for me to grow as a person, to experience cultures and peoples and food i mean we're the food capital of the world there's no yeah, everything place. capital everything world. capital but seriously food, but food uh you can go to little chinatown you know little italy go to koreatown um if you're into russian food go down to uh to coney island right little russia down there if you want uzbek food coney island uzbek uzbek, food? uzbek. uuzbek. Anything, really yes i mean we, we have it all like, and, I, and I, I mean you don't have to sell new york city to me i, I get it right? yeah it's but like, just think about this. Your journey's been—you've had a crazy journey. But let, let, let's just think. Let me go polar opposites. Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Loved it. Well, I know you loved it, yeah. but but how much different of a contrast is that? Night and day, night and day. It's two different worlds, and I'm glad I've experienced both. Right? I I, I like going after guys who who come from blue collar areas, uh, because they're hard working. They know what it's about, uh, and getting them into the city to you know give them to something that they don't really necessarily have readily on hand that culture those uh diff those those different viewpoints right and just growing your mind uh, and the great thing that we have even more so is the new york regional training center so you want to grow your mind and your body like go down into into hoboken uh up to columbia and you work out with those guys uh kendall cross and valentine and you know frank chimizo has been there and uh gigs feely's been there and helen's there and you, you can just 
like, ah, it's so exciting, right? Like, how do you not want to be in New York City, uh, wrestle for Hunter College, and just the wealth of knowledge that's there? Like, if you're into photographs or design or anything, right? Like, you're gonna find it in New York City, and it's just gonna blow your mind because you're like, here I am, I'm wrestling, I'm getting a great education, um, I'm experiencing things I just can't experience anywhere else. Like, not many people can say my campus is New York City. Like, at Bloom, that's your campus. Like, that's it, it's it's very, this it's right here. But you can go down to the beach one day, you can go up to the mountains the next day, you can go out to Long Island, you can go to the end of the world in Montauk. You know, it's, there's a bullet train, takes you an hour and a half, you see that. You, you can go camping up in, up in the mountains, like, you can do everything right here. It's the center point and whatever you want. Okay, so talking, you know, Cliff put together C3, you know, what does this event do for you as a coach and how does it help? It helps me because being a small D3 program, you know, yes, we've had two national champions in the last 10 years, right? But no one knows where we're at, right? So this helps us put us on the map, right? Like kids in Florida, you know, see us in Georgia, North and South Carolina, you know, with you guys doing what you're doing, it's helping these smaller programs like myself get better exposure to bring kids in, especially from Jersey, right? It's it's a stone's throw away, but most people don't know we're right there. As a crow flies 10 miles, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Right? Yeah, maybe. How wild is that? And kids don't even know what Hunter College is. Damn, we've had two national champs in the last 10 That's years. That's wild. Right? C.J. Palmer was our last one, um, and that year was our last All-American with uh, Jesse Bader, uh, who's now finishing his third year of law school at Fordham. Um, and then Terry Madden, uh, was our first one back in 2007, and he runs a, a business up upstate a little bit, and he's just, you know, and, and we just have so many great guys. John Tush uh, is an alumni. He was working with the Black Caucus um, for he works in uh, in uh, with with like heart stuff, right? He, all of our guys who come to Hunter, super smart and business oriented. Uh, Human, uh, who's done so much for the sport of wrestling, uh, was a Hunter alum and a, an assistant coach for a while, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, and he's been recognized uh, around the world, and uh, it, just the list goes on and on and on and on of the, the great people that have come from our institution. What do you guys, you know, what do you want to get, what do you want five kids here to get about Hunter College? What do you want them to know? If, you, you know, if, if all of them can't learn, you know, because some of them, yeah. ah, I'm not a D3 guy, you yeah. know how people think. Yeah. What, what's, what do you want five kids to walk away from here with Hunter College? That we offer the most unique experience that you will ever get in your college life. Like, it doesn't matter where you go. You cannot beat Hunter College, one, the affordability, and two, uh, where we're located. Like, you just can't beat that. Like, there's nowhere else. Like, you can go to California, you can go to any Division One, any Division Two, any Division Three school in the country. You're not gonna beat what we offer as New York City being our campus. Like, your, your campus is New York City. Nobody can compare to that. It's just in Columbia. <laughs> hey, they're Division One, yeah. right? So yes, right. But, but that's like, the, yeah, you're yes. get, it's a, it's a D three experience to a D one experience. Yep. New York City, Manhattan, both of them. Both of them. Upper West Side, 116th for Columbia, uh, 68th and Lex, Upper East Side uh, for us. So that's that's pretty good. This is not bad. Not bad. All right, man. We got guys doing pull ups. You got anything else for me? Yeah, just keep what you're doing. You're doing and more D three. That's all we need. Thanks for the time, man. All right, thank you.